Good evening everybody, it's Avril from Mitchy Titch. How are you all? Are you well? Oh I am glad. Halfway through the week, I hope you've had a really good week. I have, I've been really busy and as you can see I'm still in my uniform for our bedtime story because I've been in school all day today teaching yoga. So what have we got for you this evening? <gasps> we have, oh, a brand new book, A Day at the Farm. It's about Hattie and her friends and it's by Leslie Barrington. And can you remember what the pictures inside are called? That's right, the illustrations. They're by Karen Middleton and they're great. So I received this book recently in the post and I was so excited. I love receiving new books in the post. And Leslie, a lovely lady, I met through being, being a part of Sue Atkins Book Club, which I'm absolutely loving being a part of. I'm meeting lots of new people, so that is great. Now, just before we start our story, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Leslie because she seems to be a lovely lady. And how wonderful is this? Let's give her a shout out because there she is. Hi, Leslie. Lovely to have you on our story this evening. So we're just about to say a little bit about Leslie before we read our story. Now, you know, Leslie used to own a number of nurseries and run kiddies clubs too. And then she began searching for some storybooks featuring disability that she could share in her nursery. And she found this really, really difficult. She wanted to be able to introduce the disability without drawing attention to it for inclusiveness. She just couldn't find any, so what did she do? You got it. She wrote her own, just like I did, writing our Mitchy Titch books for yoga. You see, it's a great idea. Now, you see, sometimes Leslie will ask, how inclusive is your bookshelf? Hmm, I wonder. So you see, inclusion means accepting everybody and the differences we have, Leslie writes. She says, unfortunately, people with disabilities face daily struggles. But you see, if young children see positive images of disability and receive consistent messages of tolerance and acceptance, then she believes this will have many benefits in society. And of course, I agree with her because you see, yoga is all about, it's a non-competitive sport, and it's all about each individual's abilities. So you see, that's why these books really, really resonated with me. Often, Leslie asks children when she goes around schools if they could see anything different about the characters here in her books. And often they say no, and that is exactly the point, isn't it? So, how Leslie finishes up is that she says, the message to all children should be that everybody can be friends and have fun of all abilities because abilities aren't important for those things. You can still have lots of fun and lots of friends. So all young children accept differences. They do, don't they? I'm sure you do, my little yogis. Their curiosity will raise questions and they develop their attitudes from the answers they receive. So it's really down to us big yogis to show through our attitudes and actions that we value all children equally. So that was a lovely message from Leslie. So without further ado, we're going to read Leslie's story, Hattie and Friends, A Day at the Farm. And at the end, I'll tell you, about something very special we're going to do, okay? Snuggled on down? Are you in your pyjamas? I know I'm not, but I will be soon. Get comfortable now, and here we go. It was a special day. 
Hattie and Nisha were going to Whitegate Farm and they were so excited. Hattie was waiting at the window for Nisha to arrive. It was a beautiful sunny day, which was just perfect. And look, she has a little black cat. How cute. <laughs> Nisha and Dimmummy arrived in their red shiny car and beeped the horn. Beep, beep. Hooray, they're here at last, said Hattie as she ran to the door. Come on, Mummy, let's go. And here is her friend Nisha coming in to say hi. Hattie and Nisha chatted and giggled all the way to the farm. They were best friends and it was fun to be together. Look, I can see the farm, said Nisha. Here we are, said Mummy. I think everybody is so excited to finally arrive. When Hattie got out of the car, she wrinkled her nose up and said, Oh, cows and sheep, as she smelled the farmyard smells. Pooey, agreed Nisha with a chuckle. Have you ever smelled farmyard smells? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's go and see what animals we can find, said Hattie's mummy. So off they wandered into Whitegate's farm. Hattie and Nisha found a big barn with goats, horses, pigs and donkeys. It was very noisy and smelly in there. The baby goats were skipping and jumping around and play fighting with each other. They're called kids, just like you, Nisha's mummy said. They are, but I think I can see their names too up here. Ginger and Pebbles. And there are the goats. They look quite cute, don't they? Hattie and Nisha fed the donkeys some special pellets of food. Hold your hand flat and let them eat food from your hand, Nisha's mummy said. The donkeys gobbled up the food quickly. Oh, that really tickles, giggles Hattie. I love the look of these donkeys and their names are Daisy and Droopy. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Lovely little donkeys. I think it might be time to feed us now, said Nisha's mummy. Who's hungry? Me, shouted the girls together. And me, said Hattie's mummy. Hattie and Nisha chose an animal lunchbox in the cafe. They munched their sandwiches, slurped their juice and watched the chickens strutting around the farmyard. Can you see the chickens in the distance there, strutting around? They do strut chickens, don't they? They really stick out their chest and strut their stuff. We can help feed the lambs at two o'clock, Hattie's mummy said after lunch. The lambs had a bottle of milk, just like a baby. All the children took turns to feed them. They're very strong, Hattie said, as the little lamb tugged hard at the bottle. Can you see? As the little lamb takes the milk, she's tugging really hard at the teeth. And we're in spring, aren't we? So there's lots of new animals around. The little lambs are so wonderful. Can we go for a tractor ride now, asked Nisha. The big blue tractor was waiting in the farmyard for all the children to climb aboard. It was a bumpy ride. The girls giggled and squealed with delight as the tractor chugged along. Oh, maybe you've been on a tractor ride. Was it bumpy? I bet you it was. On the way back to the farmyard, the girls spotted the adventure playground. Wow, that looks like fun, Hattie said. Can we go there next? Nisha asked. They played in the playground for ages, swinging on the swings and getting dizzy on the roundabout. <laughs> it does look like they had lots of fun. Giggles all round. <laughs> oh, and I can see lots of my yogis on here tonight. Hi. Hope you're all well, but snuggled on down. Who would like to choose something from the gift shop before we go? asked Hattie's mummy. Oh, me please, said Hattie and Nisha together. Hattie chose a pink fluffy pig and Nisha chose a blue tractor. This will remind me of my day at the farm, Nisha said. Do you want to see the pig and the tractor? They're great, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hattie and Misha had really enjoyed their day at the farm. They had helped to feed the animals and lots more too. Can we come to the farm again tomorrow? asked Hattie on their way home. Well, maybe another day, her mummy said. <laughs> there we go and there they are about to make their way home. So how wonderful was that story? Now, if you would like to take a look at Leslie's books, this one and others, and some lovely posters you may wish to put up as well, I've had a little peek, they look great. You can find Leslie and Hattie at www.hattieandfriends.co.uk or you could give her a follow. Instagram and Facebook are both the same, Hattie and Friends author and Twitter is just Hattie's Friends. So take a look and see what you can see. Now the last message comes from Leslie herself. She sent me a beautiful bookmark and on the back she writes, it'll give away our real secret now. Hi Avril, I hope you enjoy the book. Well we have, haven't we? I'm looking forward to seeing the yoga version. Best wishes, Leslie. What a lovely note. So, I read the book and said to Leslie, I thought this would be great as a yoga story because there's lots of animals in there. Can you remember them all? I bet you you can. So, will you watch out for our event? We're going to be doing a day at the farm for Leslie, her yoga story. Won't that be great? But we'll put this story, it'll be out on Facebook Live, but we'll put this book reading out on our YouTube channel as well. And then watch out on our page at Michi Chich Yoga for the yoga version. I can't wait. It won't be too long. I won't keep you waiting. Okay, everybody. Now, a huge thank you to Leslie for sending us her wonderful book, Hattie and Friends, A Day at the Farm. Now, will you snuggle on down? Good. Have a good night's sleep because that's really important, isn't it? So you're all refreshed for in the morning. Have a nice relax in bed. Okay. Brilliant. And as usual, everybody, love you all to bits. Take care and stay safe. Night-night. See you soon.